Alrighty, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be doing the quest, Recover the Past. It is a very long mission, mind you, and it opens us a way to reset our skill points. It is a very long mission, mind you, and let's just go ahead and get started. We come over here to this tower at 103, negative 1200, and we're going to start by going up the stairs and talking to this doctor up here. Dr. Picard, here he is. He tells us a ton of things. Um, perfect. Then we have to go down all the way back down here. And we're going to escape and we're going to head over. Sorry, we have to talk with this guy right here. He won't have any words above his head. You'll just have to talk to him right here to be aware of that. So we talk to him and then he'll walk us to the bridge. Um, yeah, so keep in mind that he spawns right there. Uh, do, do not get lost. There is no beacon to guide you. Okay, so we are here with him, and we simply just have to defend him. This is probably, the, this is definitely the, the toughest point of the quest, but, um, it's okay. Just right click him, and it's going to start it. There's going to be an erected spike, a summoner, and all we have to do is simply defend our boy. Uh, no, stop hitting my dude, bro. I, okay, even if you shoot him, um, doesn't matter if he's there as long as this doesn't lose health. The text above him. Okay, perfect. Almost got the arrow knock. Okay, now that we've finished that, we have to go here. Take out the summoner. Just do all the damage. Wow, that was loud. Okay, perfect. There we go. We have finished that up. And now we're going to go back and talk to him. He says thanks for the help. And now he's going to follow us to the doctor. We don't have to wait for him to follow us. He will just teleport in. So make your way there as fast as possible. And we're going to talk to, doc to the doctor. Go through everything. The scout is going to go look into this right here. Six and it, we should be put into a cutscene. And this sets up a lot of the background from where we come from. We come from Furuma. As we learned in the first mission, we are a guard coming from Furuma. And this guy was from Furuma originally. The soldier. Alrighty. Okay, the cutscene follows us to a port town in Furuma. Okay. Get the water any better. Barely enough for us and the horses. The royalty is irrigating it. We're just going to shift through everything. The guards come in. Alrighty. And keep in mind, if you want to know the whole story, just wait until after the walkthrough, and then I'll go through the whole story through the wiki. Um, the guards walk in. They destroy the houses and the village. And then we're back, and now we have to go get the next person to find out more information. So now, we're going to go ahead and go downstairs, give myself some speed. Now we have to go into Elkern and go to the other side. There is a beacon for this one, so just simply follow the beacon. I'll meet y'all there. Alrighty, here we are at the ship. Here's Sailor Cade. We talked to him. His ship is too big, so we have to help him shrink it. So we're going to go in the town. Um... We have to go inside of Elkern here and talk to the apothecary, the alchemist. And he's going to tell us how to get the ingredients to make a... Alrighty, I'm just going to go ahead and follow the instructions to help make the potion that we need. We need a golden apple, a bottle of water, and a bloom of doom. You right click here to get the bottle of water. There it is. The bloom of doom can be found right here next to the church. So we're going to go next to the church. And we're going to shoot one of these. Just take the Bloom of Doom. You don't even have to fight these things. They're not that big of a deal. But there it is. And then the Golden Apple can be found in this tree that has the red apples hanging down from it. There is parkour up to it, so you, you can just parkour up. Or if you have your abilities, you can help that. You can use that to help you most of the way up. Okay, and then we come up here and there should be a golden apple right here. Um, if it's not here, just do slash class like I've shown before. You only need one golden apple, one of each three of these ingredients. 
so we just grab one of those we can hop right back down we go to the alchemist and we're gonna make that potion that we need to make here we are we put them together it's doing a fancy thing and voila we have a potion of shrinking which is what the, he asked for now we go and we go help him shrink his boat which I don't know why you, I guess I understand why but still I really don't understand why so we give it to him shift through all of his dialogue this ship becomes a lot smaller and voila now he should follow us yes he does and now we simply just need to get him to Dr. Picard as well perfect now we talk to Dr. Picard shift through all of his dialogue let the new guy test it out test out the little incantation wait for it perfect and we enter his cutscene uh there's a ton of chaos this seems to be our boy here the sailor and his wife and someone a fruman guard oh and he's fighting back and then boom that's it okay and now we talk to dr picard okay and now we have to talk to the farmer edwin so he's not in elkern he's actually here to the southeast so we're just gonna go ahead and head there just don't even worry about these guys we can talk to edwin being three four five perfect and he wants us to water his crops for him so we're, we're going to come around the side and you could just parkour up the way here um up here when you could just use your ability so that's what i'm going to do use my abilities to come up to the top of this mountain and now if we get the text in the chat that we can break the ice and water will come down so we have to go up the tree and shatter the icicle that's hanging down so we can go up the tree right here okay oh come on there we go we're gonna go up the tree up the tree we're gonna right click that breaks it perfect now the water goes down and we get the dialogue that it is now running so we go talk to Cade to Edwin he thanks us and now he'll follow us so we'll just go straight back to the doctor all the way upstairs here we are at the doctor talk to him now Edwin goes in Alrighty, he gets put. He's put in jail by the Fruman guards. Alrighty, and this is the Imperial prison in Fruma, and it's interesting because Edwin and Cade are in cells right next to each other. Here we have a Fruman guard coming out. He's saying, Cade, you are being transferred. Cade doesn't want to go. He'll be executed on the spot if he doesn't. They're telling him that there's no war inside the Fruman walls. 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 No the Fruman walls. And we, are, we get stuck in the in the history we get stuck in the memory so we're just gonna go ahead and escape we just exit our cell come out this way go down the stairs and we're just gonna go ahead and run straight for the exit perfect you really don't have to fight anyone you can if you want to we're just gonna run for the exit and just like that we are back here we talk to dr picard he tells us to go check out the book we stand on the red carpet, and then it's our turn to go through our own past, and there isn't any. So we talk to Dr. Picard, and just like that, we have completed the Recover the Past mission. It gives us a ton of experience points, a lot of emeralds, and a skill reset skull. When this is right-clicked, it will reset all your skill points right here, and uh, that's very nice and very helpful 
for us and um, these things are quite quite handy to have so that we don't lose our soul points um, and you can always reset you can always reset it here or, or you can buy reset scrolls from here for 384 emeralds so that's that's very nice um, so yeah that is how to complete the mission Alrighty, and switching over here to the wiki we have the recover the past quest it is a long level 25 quest centered around the tower of amnesia it was introduced in the 1.19 update and replaced the tower of amnesia which uh it's more or less the same mission just a lot of the dialogue was changed to fit in the new narrative that windcraft is uh trying to create for the up, up and coming new fruma uh expansion that they're probably working on now okay so we go ahead and we start by talking to dr picard he says he can see memories from many, many years ago. He's like, are you by any chance from Fruma? Which we are, as we learned in the very first mission, we are a traveler who moved from Fruma to win and we uh, are a warrior for them. We don't really know anything about our past. We can't remember anything before. Um, so yeah, it's that's that's all that there is to it. He's like, oh, uh, oh, a soldier. Are you from Fruma? Tell me, do you remember anything about where you came from? He's like, I thought so. Everyone's story starts the same. In a wagon entering the Wind Province, which is the tutorial. So it's funny enough that he says that. I want to find out more. I've just created this orb, which allows me to see people's past. Say, would you help me? I need some people originally from from or can you bring them here there's another guard across the bridge see if he would oblige this experiment i'm sure they would want to find out more so we go and say oh good reinforcements i've been left here alone to defend elkern you want me to abandon my post i expect a huge attack from the roots he's like if you help me defend the town i'll go with you so we defend the town by fighting all the mobs as we did during the mission and then afterwards he says um thanks uh for the rescue try not to let me get overwhelmed um, uh, so, you want to find out about our past? Well, I must admit, I never really thought about it. I guess I could go with you. Lead the way. But quick, we can't leave Elkern unguarded for too long. So we take him to doc to the doctor. He's like, how are you, how are you planning on extracting my memory? It's an in a non-painful way, I promise you. Now, if you'll stand over here in front of the crystal thing, just look into it. Uh, he's like, I don't feel anything. And then, whoa. So we're brought into the poor town in Fruma, the dialogue that we saw. And we have Reynold in his memory, and he's like, oh, what a day. Is the water any better? Presumably a friend. There's barely enough for us and the horses. I don't see why the royalty has to irrigate from our rivers. And then, as they're saying that, an imperial god comes and says, the palace has ordered an inquest into the productivity of this village. You are behind on your crop deliveries. Sir, we tried, but the farms don't have enough clean water since the palace dammed up the river. Are you insulting the work of our royal engineers? What? No, I'm just explaining. Please, I have a family. I didn't s speak out of turn. Hein, look after the kids. I'll be back soon. The palace does not tolerate insubordination. Reynald, you are tried for laissez majesté. It directly s says that you're insulting a mon monarch, which means pretty much that you're being insubordinate and you're creating treason so that's what it is the guard will cast a spell and blow up on the houses and he says the village will do well to remember who protects them from external forces and you return from the flashback hey hey it's not real it's just memory talk to me well that was unexpected i didn't anticipate subjects would re relive them that vividly to think reynald had a whole family in a life before he came here do you think you could give me one more subject we need to find out more there's a sailor close to elkin from fruma maybe you could ask him cross the bridge he should be by the river He's like, yep, I'm the sailor, pretty sure I'm from Fruma, I came here on the same cart as you. I'm not sure I want to know about it, I must have left for a reason, right? Reynold had his done? I guess it couldn't hurt. Maybe I have an issue, I've navigated my boat in a creek instead of the river. Maybe we can use some magic to shrink the boat? So we help them go through the process of creating a potion of shrinking, and so it's we go through that whole thing in the mission and then we do it and then it works out it's like thanks for giving me the potion let's see if it works it works he's like do i even fit now i guess you held up your side of the deal i'll follow you so we go back and dr Picard's like okay another fruit and let's see if his story is the same as reynolds i'm not sure about this i'm kind of happy here nothing to worry about i won't change who you are now wait for it hold up what's going on and then we enter a flashback of Cade's past. Ah, move! A guard will shove Kara away from the house. Kara! Kara is under arrest. She is coming with me. 
Get your hands off her! Cade will run up and punch the guard. Perhaps he would like to go in her place. And we return to the present. A earth to human. Hmm, this doesn't look too good. What is happening in Fuma? They've locked that province away for hundreds and hundreds of years. And now this? We should see if we can uncover more. So we go and we talk to Edwin. And we bring Edwin. After helping him out with his water. And we check out his history. In his flashback, he is in the guard. Why are you doing this, he says. Order of Her Majesty. Let me out. What is this? Hey, calm down. There's no point in yelling, Cade says. What What do you mean? There's no escape here. The guards come in once in a while and take place. And they take people. People who are never seen again. Where are they being taken? No one knows. The last person they took was Alan, Alida, Aligar. Cade, you are being transferred. What? what, what? I don't want to go. Walk, or you will be executed on the spot. What are you doing? Shut it. And then they go through the process of saying that there's no war inside the Fruman Walls. 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 There is no war inside the Fruman Walls. And they simply forget everything. Get out of there. We are being sucked into the memory. So we, tr we run out of the memory. And then it is our turn. It is our turn to look into the memory ball. But instead of being transported to, into a memory, we were pushed away from the crystal ball in an explosion. It's almost as if we didn't have a life before you came to win. Thank you for helping me. Here's a small reward. I hope we can discover what really goes on behind the walls of Fruma. It is very, very interesting, this mission, because it sets up the context for the whole Fruma area. Fruma is the next province. We have Wynn, we have Corcus, we have the ocean, and we have, Sim, uh, and we have Gavel. But we haven't seen Fruma yet. And this is the mission that has the most amount of information on Fruma. And especially on the inner workings. So we know that it is an imperial country run by a queen. And that um, they it is a dictatorship in that sense. That she has full... Uh, it's an absolute monarchy. So it's not a dictatorship. It's an absolute monarchy. She is the queen, the empress, and everyone follows her rewards and no one can uh, everyone follows her commands and no one can say anything about it um so it is a very chilling story about these people who lost their families who lost their memories and they moved on to try to make a better life for themselves and we as the character discover that and in the new update hopefully we will have the chance to enter fruma through the gate that is closed currently and uh explore some missions there which would be very very amazing um, yeah so as we finish the quest it gives us 7,000 experience points 1,024 emeralds which is those are both very nice for this level a uh, one shattered memory shard which is just uh, a crafting item not, not too useful you can sell it at a blacksmith if you want to and the skill reset scroll which is very useful and it's very nice to buy them here buy a lot and save them for later because especially once you hit the lo higher level like level 70 and up messing around with your uh, skills uh, with your skill points becomes a very common thing and you'll need to reset it a lot of the times so uh, having these instead of using up your soul points is very helpful um, so yeah that is how to that is the whole story behind it let me know if you want to know more about this one it is a pretty interesting one Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the one before, check out the one after, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye now.